I am so honored to be giving the bishop, the Chaldean oh, bishop, boy. a tour of my favorite place, the Chaldean Museum. You know, it is gorgeous. I, I've Welcome. been here, but it's been a long while, and I've heard that there's new stuff, so I'm excited. The nice thing about the museum is very interactive. There isn't something like this where we have these red buttons, oh, and if yeah. you want to like press oh, sure. one of them, and then it will actually translate. I'll stay here for a while. Okay, <laughs> there are eight of them. If you notice also the statues and the statuettes that they discovered, um, their hands are held like this in prayer form. Mm -hmm. They gave credit for their work. They always gave it to their gods. Mm -hmm. They did not take credit for their own work. Mm -hmm. And so that really speaks highly of just some of maybe what we've picked up just being faith-based. You probably can give me a better tour in this area than I can give nah. to, for you. <laughs> and as most people know, is we were introduced to Christianity mm -hmm. through St. Um, Thomas the Apostle as he was stepping into right. Mesopotamia and his right. way to India. Right. On the other side, we have more um, things focused regarding the language. Um, here, again, this the interactive part. The ones in the red. Oh, the ones in, yeah. all right, I'm sorry. Yeah. Resh. <laughs> cool. Faith is such an important part of our history, not only the pre-Christian, but especially the Christian, and everything that we went through because of our faith. But I think it made us even stronger Chaldeans and stronger Assyrians and stronger people of the community, and, and it's wonderful that we're bringing it here into America and not just limiting it that to, to Iraq and it's just, just there. No, no, there is here now. So the next gallery, Village Gallery. It's making me hungry. Now She's making pizza, she, right? Everybody says, you know, she, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Chaldean well, pizza, takratha. That the pizza, the takratha, okay. <laughs> So everybody that sees her, first they're they're very like surprised because she looks so real. Then they're like they either either have an aunt or a mother or a grandmother or somebody that looks like her, right. basically in their life. And this is what we try to do is to bring the village to life yeah. by um, a lot, the clothes. Everything is original and it was donated to us by our community. And of course, Call then we have the male, yes, the con her counterpart, which oh, is yeah. um, the farmer. You know, and his job was really just going out and farming and I think um, I know both my grandparents were farmers yes. and it just this was what they did in Tilkef. So here we have That's the interactive one, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 and it shows the life of yeah. the Chaldeans and makes you feel like you're living on a farm for just a few minutes. <laughs> the children came home from school for lunch. They would gather eggs from the next room where the animals were kept. Women usually milked the cows twice a day using just a cooking pot and would boil the milk right away to sterilize. So then we enter to, uh, uh, yes. to America. When you lift this, um, you can hear their stories by when you press any of the red buttons. Wow. If the person is alive, they were able to share their stories. And if not, then their child ends up sharing the story. For them, um, coming to Michigan, there was a lot of aspects associated with that. Um, primarily the fact that there were already a community here of yeah. Lebanese and Syrians. Oh, sure. Who spoke Arabic, at yeah, least. It, that they made, it made a lot of difference. Yeah, oh, yeah. We, we really call America home yeah. in every meaning of the word. I think it's fantastic. We enter the store business Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, coming from Tilkev, the village where they provided food. Oh, sure. They and provided food, and it says, yeah. if you provide fresh food, fair prices and good service, you'll make a living. Nice. And that belief, So true. And that, that's all they needed. Oh, no, sure. What's wonderful, I think almost everybody that walks through here will stop and look at these pictures, and they point to somebody. Oh, sure. Say, oh, my gosh, this is my uncle. Oh, this sure. is my aunt. We finally arrive here. Uh, these, this is our past, our pioneers. These are our future, and these are the children that yeah. are going to continue our stories. Right, right, um, right, right, right. Our patrons end up leaving um, this museum really with a sense of, you know, where are, where is your story going yeah. after this? Where are you going to take yeah. your story into the future? Um, so they get a little bit of sense of their past, and yes. then um, walk out with a sense of their future. Amen. Oh, this so, is a, a wonderful and a beautiful Gemini community and it's uh, really highlights who we are you know our ancient and as well as you know our ongoing history that we continue to make so this is this place is beautiful and it continues to grow and I love it well, anybody can come and visit us we can have a group of up to 10 people because right. of the social distancing but if they call they just make a reservation um, they can visit our website chaldeanculturalcenter.org